Okay, this one should be hard. Especially after the frustratingness. The frustration that was, you know, those five itty bitty secrets. Because one little mistake and you lose a life. Oh god, that is terrifying. Alright. Um, I'm guessing the other four are uh, where those vines are. Yep, right around here. Come on. This should be easy. Without turning completely around. You idiot. Get up. Other way. Like that. No. Get up. Agresco Rage. Get up there. Get away from the wall. What are you doing? Where would the other coins be? Wait, it's on um it's on that vine net right there, isn't it? No, it isn't. Uh, let's try this side a little. Come on. Come on. Jesus Christ. No, it's not there either. It's got to be somewhere. They were grouped together in two separate areas. God damn it. You know what? I could use an extra life. Get up there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Move. There it is. Holy shit. Alright, time for a little leap of faith here. Because the game is, uh... The game likes to be brutal to me. Oh, no! Oh! What? I did... Uh, like, first I miss the pit, then the gust comes, and then it just decides, nope, later. And then I die, like, regardless. Oh, my God. So now I gotta do this all over again. Thanks, Gus. You like you had me trust you for a brief second, and then you decided to just completely leave me in the pits. Thanks. Yes, Royal Paladin, I was close, and for some reason I fell off the ledge. Come on, get up there. God, that long jump is extremely useful in the game. Like, it helps you reach places faster. But it does come with a caveat if you're not careful. Whoa! God, I was so close on that edge. Alright. Turn the other way. No, don't circle yourself around. Just turn the opposite direction. Perfectly 180 degrees. 180. Get. There. Back to one life. Oh, that's right. This is the mechanic that goes uh, by, um, like, you reach zero lives, and then after you die, it's game over. Some of those mechanics can get a little confusing. <sighs> okay, so instead of just taking this giant leap of faith, just slowly make your way down. And I say that while I'm, like, slipping, sliding, up, like, every step of the way. Piss off. Okay. 
that's where I have to go. How am I supposed to get there? No! Jesus. Oh, I missed! Wait, wait, wait. Don't you leave me! Damn it! The T on the N is not supposed to be capitalized, but it's unknown for reasons it's on. Oh, damn it! I got distracted by the chat. And I got game over. Don't be sorry. This game is... Get in the fucking frame! Jesus! Hopping across that pit. Hopping across that pit. And... Carefully, carefully. Whoa! Piss off! Motherfucker! Stop hugging the fucking wall! Oh my god. Get in the hole, that's what she said. Ha, ha, ha. You're a comic genius, dude. Okay, you little fucker. Be waiting for you to come out. Any second now. You want me to move away for a second? God damn it. Piss off. How did I get hit? There. Piss off. Oh, I was way off. Not even the Gus could help me. This game was really hating me tonight. Thought about playing. Oh, Jesus! Ugh. No, I haven't thought about playing Banjo Kazooie. I beat three games in the Spyro Ring. Uh, Reignited Re Re Trilogy? I can't pronounce that. They're very hard, the final vassals are. Um, I might keep that in mind. I never played any Spyro games. I do hear they're good. I like this, uh, the design of Spyro. He's cute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Performance issues? What do you mean performance issues? Are you guys seeing the stream okay? No! No! Sin and Punishment? I'd never even heard of Sin and Punishment. The games I grew up with 
were the ones I was only allowed to own and rent from Blockbuster. Like, word of mouth was hard, um, was hardly a thing for me. Like, if I had it, I played it, that was it. Um. No! Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go to a different level that's easier. Anything that involving pits, I'm fucking done. Fuck this shit. Wet and dry world. Let's go here. This one doesn't have any pits at all. Express elevator, hurry up. Oh my god. I think there's a way to get up there faster. Oh, look who it is. Hi, Wolfhead. Mr. Red Nintendo 64, come cartwheeling into the fucking chat. God damn it. <laughs> You're not going to let that go, are you? You're not going to let that <laughs> shit go. Are you streaming right now? Yes, I am. Okay, and for chat, some reason... I have something to say to you, chat. Did you know that Golden has a red Nintendo 64? <laughs> they, Of course they would know, because you streamed, like, you streamed modding it or whatever. Yes, I have. Yeah. So I can't even pretend like it's like a, a secret or whatever. How you been, Goldie? It's been a long time since I've been on one of your streams. Um, as far as the stream's concerned, I've been going through the frustrations of trying to get um stars based off of oh shit I missed. <laughs> uh, the stars that were based off of bottomless pits and uh. The amount of times that I've been screwing up are an understatement. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Golden's been... <laughs> As he runs into an electric ball. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I can see. You, you've been... You, the, the levels... The levels bending you over and... and taking ah, damn it! Right now. Golden is like... Golden be like, hey, I'm just trying to pass the level. And then the level just comes in like, you're going to bend over and take it. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of like uh, that one episode of the Angry Video Game Nerd where, because uh, like, I was weirded out by that shit. Uh, but mm -hmm. basically, uh, he took on Sonic 06 and it turned into a two-parter. The first half, James uh, takes the um, he takes the game. Mm -hmm. Ow. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, he takes the game and he takes it into some kind of a some kind of chambered like room. Pulls out a whip and starts whipping the case. No, no. Like he does that to like shitty games. So the second part, he actually plays and beats the rest of the game. And things get a little, um, turned around. Oh no, what do you mean? I don't- Your, your silence is very frightening. <laughs> oh, fuck that stage, I'm not going there again. You can say he's been feeling the heat, God damn it, Thaddeus. Getting his ass cheeks burnt off. Middle of the freaking what stage is that? The the one with the water and the spiders. Oh, a wet dry world. Yeah. I would say you're doing a pretty good job of trying to get all these freaking stars though. <laughs> At least from my visual. God damn it. <laughs> At least one here. Where are the other ones? Ah, they're getting away! <laughs> I'm just now remembering um whenever it came to um if you remember Castle Crashers and like sometimes you beat a boss and a chest opens and you get like a shitload of items and you're just like go to be as greedy as you fucking can cuz I'm hogging it all. 
We should look for more of like four player games. Me, you, Solar, and Logic can play. But I've I've been I've been drawing a blank as of recently. I'm still waiting for like other games to come out. There's this game coming out that's called Cult of the Lamb, and I'm so mad that it doesn't have a release date. Well, it does have a release date, but it does that thing where it's like it's coming out in 2022, and I'm like, all right, when in 2022? Dude, like, I get that. 2022. Dude, I get that <laughs> shit with Shredder's Revenge. It's like, okay, when? Like, give a fucking date already, Jesus. What makes it worse about the Code of the Lamb is that, like, people have been playing it and reviewing it, but they can't give me a fucking uh, actual way. release date. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, okay, soon, right? They're gonna release it soon, right? Somebody tell me soon! And they're like, nope, 2022. And I'm like, this shit is gonna come out in, like, November or some bullshit. You know, it, it, it really pisses me off whenever there's, like, a trailer and it looks fucking good, but they only say soon and never specify the release date. It drove yeah, it, me it, mad when I was a kid. Because I remember, um, there was always that trailer for, uh, what was it called? Muppet Treasure Island. Like, I wasn't big into Muppets, but I was interested in that. But it says, like, oh, coming soon to video. Okay, how soon? Specify, please, and it doesn't. <laughs> Usually they, that happens with reveal trailers and shit. Like, if they want to reveal, like, a brand new movie, but they, but, like, sometimes they'll be, like, halfway through making it, but they want to get the hype of the, the crowd who might be interested in it, they'll do a reveal trailer, and at the end, they'll be, like, soon. So. It's like, God damn it. Also, speaking of the Muppets, chat, be sure to catch Keyframe's stream tomorrow. That's right. She's doing a charity stream on uh, Angela's house. Unfortunately, because of my job, for whatever reason, they had me work at a later shift. I will not be able to anticipate. You mean you will not be able to attend, you mean? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's because as soon as I get off work, that's when Angela's house stream ends. Like, they're having me working from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Oh. Uh. I'm just like, Why? I literally <laughs> said a uh, day shift. Like I'm well, like I'm somebody who opens the store and shit. Like there there have been like okay, I don't I don't hate the job. Like there's some people I get along with and everything, but there're just some like things that they do that are kind of annoying. Like they're mostly pet peeves. Um one of which is obviously, you know, oh, they're having me work later portions of the shift. I literally wanted to work the day shift so that I can have the rest of the day to myself. You know? Okay. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. And the other of which being, um, like, I didn't, like, some could argue that, oh, you could just work a graveyard shift and you have the whole day to yourself. Yeah, except you're going to be dead fucking tired. Yeah, I work a graveyard shift. Oh, uh, I, I feel your pain. By the time I get home, by you, the time I get home, I'm you're, sleeping in the sunlight. So. Yeah, you're ready to fucking crash, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But no, um, but like, yeah, like just a day shift when, you know, have a good night's sleep and just come home and then just like enjoy the rest of the day. Um, but the other of which is when they, uh, schedule my lunch hour way too early and they, uh. Lakitu, what are you doing? Turn around. <laughs> Literally like I'm pressing the C buttons to have his ass turn around and he doesn't do jack shit. <laughs> He's stuck in, like, an ice wall, dude. He could do better than that. The, the dude has actually been through walls. Lacking is just like, hey, don't... I don't, I don't go to your job and smack the broom out of your hand. Don't tell me how to do my fucking job, right, buddy? <laughs> Watch, Mario's gonna be, like, fucking Will Smith and just, like, walk up to Lacking just smack him dead in the face. And be like... And then he's gonna stand there and be like, damn, Mario just slapped the shit out of me. I could just imagine it's like Mario being like, Keep a peach out of your fucking mouth! <laughs> oh, I, I feel like he'd do that more to Bowser than Lakitu. <laughs> you know what? That's true. <laughs> like Mario would just come in and smack him and just go, Concentrate! Focus! You're just flying all over the place. Yeah? I heard a theory. That, and this is like done... This is like brought up by a streamer. So yeah. So like it's not a real theory. They brought it up as a joke. They feel like Peach gets captured by Bowser on purpose to get Mario to man up and, like, pursue his feelings with Peach. You know what I mean? 
you know what? That sounds more reasonable than everybody else saying, like, is Peach secretly a mascus? Because she keeps allowing herself to get captured by Bowser. No, it's because everybody in the Mushroom Kingdom are fucking idiots. No offense. Yeah, the Toads are idiots. The Toads are straight up idiots. They're straight up idiots, and for whatever reason, Nintendo allowed this. They have garbage voices. They have garbage voices. They're like, okay! Like, oh, God. Who thought that well, dude, having... What are you... Who who thought that having somebody gargling on marbles was a bright idea of a voice? Dude, but what do you expect them to sound like though? Whenever I see a toad, I'm like, and then hear their voice, and I'm like, yep, that that kind of sounds like you sound exactly like I expected you to sound like. Dude, they used to sound much like. Okay, have you played Mario's uh, not Mario sixty four, uh, Mario Kart sixty four? Mario Kart sixty four. Uh, I think that's one of the Mario games I didn't have. Okay. Uh, if you hear uh, Toad's voice on that one, it's a lot smoother. Mm. He's like, Yahoo! Like, that, that's a lot more acceptable. Not, Okay! I wanna fucking die! <laughs> it's just, it's... I don't know whose idea it was to just keep it that way. It's horrible. I can't imagine whoever the voice actor is, they must have worn out their, like, throat so many times. At the very well, all least, the voices... go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. God damn it! Well, all the oh voices, my god! Uh, get him! If you, you don't fuck him. Thing. I oh, will. Okay, well. I will fuck. No, no. I. <laughs> I will. I will break my desk in half. Yeah, that kind and of. And I'll feeling. be sad because I don't have a desk anymore. <laughs> Yeah, what was what was I trying to say? I'm trying to say like voice half actor the voices about in, voice actor yeah, about half, Toad. I was trying to say half the voices in the Mario franchises are kind of silly because Mario, even Mario's voice is like a very stereotypical like Italian, Italian voice. Yeah, yeah, where he's like, oh, Mamma Mia, oh, mozzarella, oh, spaghetti, ravioli, and then, dude, if you if you idle Mario and he's sleeping on the ground, he starts dreaming about spaghetti. He starts mumbling about spaghetti. Yeah, he's he like, does. I he just he he thinks about ravioli and spaghetti. Like, yeah, really, dude? And I'm just like, Italians don't do this. <laughs> this is not what Italian people do. Japan must be really fucking weird with what ideas they come up with. Because literally there's that, and you have a hedgehog who runs really, really fast, and a surreal world where you have these mechanical creatures, mm. and you hit them and you free animals. Like, are you trying to make a message or something, Sega? <laughs> are you what are you trying to say here, Sega? All right, well, I got that, uh, I got, actually, hang on, I could just backtrack and just get one of the stars from one of these stages, because fuck Tall Tall Mountain and fuck, uh, what was that other one? Tiny Huge Island. Some people think, think Booster and Peach are secretly together, it weird. I think they meant Bowser, but like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, it's, the notion that Peach is specifically getting captured just to get Mario's attention is kind of fucked up. I mean, it's, it's like, why would you do that attention-grabbing shit? Like, just talk about your problems. If you really want to be with somebody, just talk it out with them. You know? Just be like, hey, I like you, you like me, let's be a thing. And then the next time Bowser tries to catch me i could punch him in the head or whatever punch him in this big dumb dragon head i see one there uh, i see a few there's a few spiked areas that i had to climb up to fuck the level with the mushrooms uh you mean tall tall mountain rego that's not what i told you to do mario but okay <laughs> like I was expecting the controller is against you yeah the controller is always against me whoa fuck the level with the mushrooms but you need those you gotta become wait that doesn't happen in Mario 64 no I was gonna say that you need to you need to become big Mario there's a small Mario. There were a lot of changes in this one compared to the usual uh, games where mushrooms make you big and everything. 
There's less mushrooms in this game, by the way. Yes, apparently. The only time, like, pipes are ever relevant is Tiny Huge Island. Mm. Either that or when you fight Bowser. I'm trying to imagine, like, Mario getting bigger in Mario 64, and I think it would just look weird. I don't know. It would look weird in 3D, but in 2D I could handle it because I'm so used to it in 2D for so long. Yeah. Uh, I gotta talk else? to that that green bob -omb. You know, when I was a kid, whenever it came to the term bob -omb, I used to just call it bomb -a bomb I did the same thing. I don't know why. It's because, like, the way it's spelled fucks with your head when you're a kid. Yeah. You you read it and you're like eleven year old head is like ba bomb. All right, that's a weird way to say that, but sure. 